Hello world, this is What's Up 2190 here, and today I'm going to show you how to remove or change the audio on a video file using iMovie. So, first things first, you just want to op you just want to open iMovie and uh, we'll start a new project. I'll just name it tutorial, but name whatever you want you want to name your project. And then once you've got your new project open, it's pretty simple actually. All you have to do is just once you've got your uh, your um find your uh, video file that you want to remove the audio from down here in here. Essentially, all you have to do is just so this is gonna be essentially. Well, I'll go ahead and play this video first so you can hear some of the audio that's already in it. That was a clip from an earlier video of mine. So, essentially, what you, essentially what you, there are some things you can do. You can add more audio in, or you can uh, add more audio in so there's other audio playing in the video, or you can also adjust the volume, and you can also detach the audio from the video and adjust the audio. How long, how long the, the the audio on the video is, and we'll be getting into that. But first things first, I want to show you how to edit the uh, the uh, the audio on a volume track because that's the kind of thing that I'm that I have ready to do, and it's pretty easy. So what you want to do is just click this. Uh, there's you'll see like this little uh, I, this little like blue line below the video, and that is the icon. I've got my mouse. That's the audio. Sorry. I've got my mouse on it right here. All you have to do to change the volume of it is just click this little line that should appear somewhere around here, and then it'll show like a percentage, and then just drag it up to make the audio louder, or drag it down to make the to make the audio qu quieter. Now to to change the length of now to change the length of the audio that's in the video and not the actual video itself the footage I mean, you have to detach the audio from the video. And what you have to once you do that, you just you just go help detach Sorry, my computer gets a little laggy with them with them both running a program like this and and recording video. Sorry about that. But iMovie is a really great program for editing videos. It's my favorite video editing program, personally, and uh, for for a whole bunch of reasons. It's what I use to edit all my YouTube videos. So, yeah, just go to Help, which will be on, and then Detach Audio, or you can, oh sorry, you can just go Modify Detach Audio, and you have to have that, and you have to have the clip or clips that you want to attach the audio from selected. Otherwise, this one, this will be grayed out or something. So just click that, and as you can see, it's detached my audio, my, my audio from the actual video footage and put it on a separate track. Now, whereas if I play it now, it'll play just like before, unless you've... I can now change the, uh, the I can now say change the length of the audio. Like here's some audio I had in that part of the video right there. Whereas if I were to drag it backwards to say around here, you'll notice that the video footage is still there and the audio is gone. So, one thing that you can do is, uh, select the audio and then go split clip. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move it to and move a certain part of the audio to a different part of the video. Split, and then I'm just going to drag it to a certain other part. Make it a little 
louder so you can hear. And then go. Split clip. Press this button. And I'm gonna play the audio, some of the audio that was there just so that you can hear it. You go to my menu, like you said, right now the app is still running in the background. Once I'm at the menu, just press this button twice. And I'm going to split the audio at that place during the end clip. And I'm going to swap the two. up here, sorry. Sorry about that. Little setback right there. Good. Swap those audios now. Sorry about that. A little hiccup happened earlier. So now, what will happen is the audio that plays during the, the the audio during those two clips will be switched. And now, you can also delete, just drag the, if, you can also fully erase the audio and replace it with another piece of audio. And to do that, you just select the audio and then press delete. And now, if I were to, now when I'm playing it, if I were to export it like this, the video would not have any sound at all, It'd be completely silent. Whereas if I were to drag another audio track in there, it'd be a good one to drag in. Let me drag an audio clip in. I now have that audio playing over the uh, video instead. Whereas, I've, whereas if I were to They have both that video 
both of both the video and I'll just drag another random video in another video. in and then I have the audio from that video that's another old video of mine and uh, then I were to, to to drag that that other audio that other audio clip in sorry. I would have both both of that both that music and my narration on that video playing at the same time. Hello world. Sorry, my screen recording software glitched out there for a second. So another way you can kind of control it, but not nearly to the extent of being able to see their screen or being able to just control their mouse. So once you're done editing your video, you if I were to export it like this, which you do just by by going file, share, gonna export as a gonna export it as a video file. I'm hoping it doesn't take too long to export. Uh, I'll just trim it down a bit so it doesn't take so long, take us take very long to export. I'm gonna set for like super low like re rendition so that doesn't take very long to export then you know just so that doesn't take very long to write it shouldn't take very long to write it Anyway, I'll pause the video up till it's done. So now that it's done writing the video, I'll go and show it to you. And there's the video that with my edited audio. Another way you can kind of control it, but not nearly to the extent of being able to see their screen or being able to just control them. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if you did, uh, if you did, well, that's good. Anyway, that's about it. This, this is What's Up 290, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day.